like this. It's good. Move it like this. Here. Here. Now we're together. You need some gum. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Maligator Mom, once again, here with Riot. Today's video is going to be kind of a resource guide for those of you who are considering getting a Belgian Malinois puppy. So I wanted to give you the five things that will um, help you not necessarily in making this decision. So my hope is that you've already made the decision to get one and now you just kind of need like the five best tips, best practices for getting started when you've made this decision to get a Malinois. So tip number one is you need to be very well aware and very uh, well researched into where you're purchasing your Malinois puppy from. Now I always recommend Global Canine Protection Services. I personally have purchased two of my three Malinois from Global Canine. I cannot say enough wonderful things about them. I think that if you are looking for um, a Malinois for, for any reason, whether you want to get into a sport, whether you want to train in personal protection, whatever it may be, this company really specializes in um, finding the right Malinois for you and your goals. So the first step is pick up the phone, call Global Canine or, or any breeder that you're interested in. I personally think Global Canine is a great place to start and have a very candid, open, honest conversation with the breeder, whoever that may be, about why you want a Malinois and what specifically your goals are long-term for that dog. Because that conversation is really what is going to set you up for a successful match when it comes to, um, you know, how much drive you need, what kind of temperament it is you're looking for. Do you have a family? So is this dog going to need to be incorporated into a family with children and other dogs? Do you live on a farm? Do you have, is this dog gonna need socialization and exposure to um, farm animals like ducks and chickens and, and be able to handle all of that? So have a really in-depth, candid conversation and be really honest about everything you can think of that, that you want this dog to be able to do and then they will be able to make a great recommendation and start the search for that perfect Malinois puppy for you. All right, number two is going to be getting ready for your Malinois puppy to join you in your home. So what types of products do you need to be ready for your puppy? Um, you know, everything from crates to bowls to leashes to harnesses, all of that stuff. I actually have a really great resource on my website. Not very many people know about it, but it's malligatormom.com and I have a products page that links to everything that you could possibly imagine or need for your dog. And so make sure you go check that out because it'll have all those products there, prices, everything. It's a great resource, check it out. And number three, if you are a first time Malinois owner, so this is your first Malinois puppy, and I don't care if you've had other dogs, I don't care if you've had German Shepherds or Huskies or Healers or whatever you've had in the past. If this is your first Malinois puppy, I highly suggest that you go back through my videos and you watch the video that I made entitled uh, your first 24 hours with your Malinois puppy. I think that this is a very insightful video into just what you can expect. And I think that it's um, very interesting to some people uh, how tenacious and nasty and rotten and bitey and mouthy your little Malinois puppy will be even at eight weeks old. Um, it surprises a lot of people and it takes a lot of people off guard. They'll think, you know, holy shit, like here's this eight week old puppy who's just totally out of control and just wants to attack everybody and everything that it sees. Is this normal? Is my puppy broken? How do I, how do I work through this? What do I do? <laughs> The unfiltered look into what it's like to have a Malinois puppy. 
Ouch, you little fucker. Hey. Um, I went and grabbed a rag so that she can, so that I can have something to redirect, hey, redirect her, uh, her desire to bite and play here this morning. So go watch that video because it will at least kind of help absorb some of that shock that you're going to experience in your first 24 hours with your Malinois puppy. So go check that video out. And number four, this is so, so, so important. I try to tell everybody this, you simply must make this a priority. If you want to be successful with your Malinois puppy, you have to invest in professional training. You just do. If this is your first Malinois puppy and you think that you're going to be able to just handle it or watch a few videos on YouTube, um, you know, or, you know, I'm not worried about it. All I really want to do is just have a house dog, right? Because these dogs look cool or, or whatever your reason might be, you are going to fail. It, it's not going to work out for you. You simply have to invest in a professional trainer. And I recommend actually researching a trainer or a club, um, depending on what you want to do or what you want to get involved in, before you even make the decision to bring a Malinois puppy home. I actually went and spent time at Global and handled these dogs. Had They have a demo dog. So so any trainer that you're going to that specializes in training uh, Belgian Malinois or who has a, a sport club of some kind should have a demo dog. That head trainer should have a demo dog that you can confidently handle and have a little bit of experience with. And that was amazing. It, it actually was um, an incredible experience. And it really helped me decide, is this something I can do? Is this too much for me? What kind of goals do I have for my Malinois? Do I want to operate at this level? Maybe I want to do some of these sports that they offer. Maybe I want to get involved in scent work as a hobby. You know, you should be able to go out to your training facility not only handle a demo dog, but they should allow you to come and maybe sit in on some classes or, um, you know, definitely offer a tour of the facility. All of those things should be offered. And so if that's not in place, I would be pretty skeptical of that trainer because your trainer, um, you know, that dog, that demo dog is a reflection of that trainer. So their demo dog should be a pretty solid dog. So if you go and you find out that this demo dog is not great or it's a little wild or the control is lacking, the obedience isn't, isn't flashy and on point, that's a reflection of that trainer. So maybe you don't want to invest thousands of dollars in that trainer. And that is why you need to actually go out and interview other trainers, spend some time with them, you know, book some time to go in and actually make it an important investment. If you want to get your dogs to operate at these high levels of protection like my dogs do, for example, that does not come cheap. That's very, very expensive. That is a huge financial investment. So you need to treat it from the very beginning like it is one. Another great thing about starting off with a professional trainer from the beginning is that you're going to get your puppy started on the right foot. You're also going to get ahead of any of these bad behaviors from presenting later down the road because you will have had someone to uh, teach you the right way from the beginning how to go about working with your Malinois puppy. And it's easy to also just kind of lose the window of opportunity with your puppy. So working with a professional trainer on a weekly basis helps hold you accountable to make sure that you're actually training and spending that time with your puppy that you need to. I know that people have really busy lives and so it's very easy to just put off that training or not worry about it or not think that it's too important just yet. You know, the puppy's only eight weeks, but then at 10 weeks old, you'll find yourself saying this, the same thing. Oh, the puppy's only 10 weeks old. You know, we can, we can wait on this. That turns into, okay, now my puppy is four months old and we haven't started training yet. The accountability factor for me was probably the most helpful thing when it came to hiring a professional trainer because 
Um, you know, I do have four kids. I do have kind of a busy lifestyle. And so that definitely helped me, um, you know, maintain and progress our training. So beyond working with a professional trainer, I would also find myself, even in that week in between my lessons, I would come home and I would just be on YouTube or on the internet, right? Trying to like watch all the videos I can watch, read all the blogs I could, I could read, just trying to educate myself to become a better handler um, and understand training of my, of my Malinois myself. So I think that we're all like that. You know, we, we get our Malinois, we really do want to do what's best for them. And so you really can learn a lot online. Um, and I would say that that goes hand in hand in working with a professional trainer in person, like at least once a week. But there's also a lot of self-education that goes into having a Malinois that can be done online. I don't know if you guys have heard of a trainer by the name of Robert Cabral, but he has always been one of my go-tos, one of my favorite trainers. Um, the guy who I'm looking up on YouTube, right, and watching his videos because he is just a phenomenal, very experienced, amazing teacher, you know? Like his communication is great. The way he can break down and, you know, show and teach you how to work with a dog, um, reminded me of my own trainer. And so um, I, I just love the way he communicates and his technique and training is just, you know, expert level. He's amazing. And I think that's a pretty uncontested thing to say. I think a lot of people know who Robert Cabral is. If you don't and you're watching this video, I highly recommend that you go check him out. Um, but before you do, I do wanna just say, I was literally blown away by his website and his lessons. Um, I just literally have been watching, you know, hours and hours of lessons because there's so much in there and there, and it's all unpacked and organized in such an amazing way. I mean, I can watch a video and there's a note taking portion to it where I can take notes while I'm watching the video and then I can print those notes or save those notes or do what I wanna do with them. Um, and this is all done on the website. They have a membership option where there's all these forums of all these other members of the website where we can all talk and share pictures and exchange information. And that has been really valuable as well. So there's just a great community that's forming on this website as well. So I did agree to um, team up with them as an affiliate. So I do have a coupon code that can save you a little bit of money. So if you are interested, head over to robertcabral.com, use the code Malligator Mom, capital M, Malligator, capital M, Mom, okay? And I'll put the link down there in the description. But um, I just can't say enough about it. I, I really am having a blast on this website. I hope you guys will join. You'll see me there. Go look for me under Malligator Mom. Go be my friend on his website, right? We can chat it up. We can go through lessons together. Um, it's just amazing. So uh, I highly recommend that you do some kind of self-education as well as, you know, not, not um, what's the word I'm stumbling? Not in, in replacement of working with a professional trainer, but in conjunction with a professional trainer. So I would not say do one or the other. I would say both is the surest path to success. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this content, please share it with somebody. That helps us a lot. And make sure that you smash the like button and leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of today's video.